Welcome back, everyone. Philadelphia City Council passed a bill this weekend that will force beer delis to comply with state law. Asian business owners call the measure a kill bill, referring to a provision that could eventually call for the removal of bulletproof barriers. Cherry Gregg of KYW News Radio took a tour of the so called stop and goes to see what the controversy is all about. This is Kenny Seafood and Steaks on Wayne Avenue. When you go inside behind large plexiglass barriers, there's beer, tobacco products, and single servings of medications for sale. You see a number of different cigarello products. Councilwoman City Bass sponsored the bill that would force beer delis like Kenny's to comply with state liquor laws that require seating for 30 and an accessible bathroom. This does not fit the requirements of being a restaurant. Kenny's owner, Jeff Liu, admits they sell little food. What do you sell the most? Uh, beer sodas. The Asian American Licensed Beverage Association strongly opposed the bill, rallying near City Hall. Their beef? The bill gives licenses and inspections power to create rules for possible removal of the plexiglass barriers in 2021. Our city needs bulletproof glass, not violence, not a blood. Chang Moy's son luckily was gunned down in their South Philadelphia shop. More people in the die again. She now has plexiglass, and members of ALBA believe removal of plexiglass would push them out of business. So, what do you say to the business owners who claim that this bill is race discrimination? I really don't care what race they are. They could be purple for all I care. What we care about is taking care of our citizens, taking care of our, our communities, and this is a business model that is completely unacceptable, no matter who's run it. Bass says the bill, which Mayor Kenny is expected to sign, is not about the glass. It's about stopping the sale of beer, blunts, and more. But what they really are are places that you can buy products to get high. She says their goal is not to shut down the delis, but to get them to stop selling addiction-producing products in vulnerable communities. In North Philadelphia, Cherry Gregg, KYW News Radio for CBS3 Eyewitness News.